Hi people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, most of the international students studying in Australia, they want to get a full-time job in the field of study after graduating. But getting a full-time job is not an easy task for international students as firstly, they are fairly new to the Australian job market and certain jobs have some conditions like they want someone who is an Australian citizen or a permanent resident. So, in this video, I will be telling you all that how I got a full-time job as a business analyst before graduating and I'll be sharing some tips with you which will definitely help you secure a full-time job for yourself. Before I start, I am giving away a $100 gift card to one of my subscribers, so just watch till the end on more information on that. If you're new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on the future videos which I will be uploading. So let's start with the video now. Before starting my master's here in Australia, I did my bachelor's in computer science engineering from India and honestly speaking, even after graduating, I could not write a single piece of code or like basically I knew nothing about computer science. And when I started my course here in Australia, I saw that how serious people were for their studies, but I still wasn't one of them. So three of my four semesters in my master's went something like this. Time passed away pretty quickly and I was in my final semester. And finally, in my last semester, I thought that I have to do something if I want to get a job. So somehow I managed to get an internship as a data analyst, more on that later. And I kept applying for new jobs. And while applying for new jobs, soon enough, I realized that this is not going to work out. Like, all I'm getting is rejection messages every day. So I kept editing my resume and I kept on looking for other options rather than just applying for jobs online. And after a month, I got my first call for an interview and before I knew, I had the job offer. So now I will give you some tips on how you can find your first job in Australia. My number one tip is do your assignments on time and do not fail any unit. Failing a unit is not good for your academics. It shows on your transcripts and getting very good grades might not necessarily help you in getting a job but on the other hand failing a couple of subjects will bring down your chances of getting a job drastically so just submit your assignments on time and I'm sure you won't fail any subject my second tip is that use your summer breaks wisely now what do I mean by using your summer breaks wisely so in Australia, it's like you study for three months and then you have a break for a couple of months or maybe even three months. So most of the people I know, they either go back to their home countries during the break or they start working seven days a week to earn more money. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're missing out on a few important things which might help you to get a full-time job later. So, so some of the things which you can do in your summer breaks are doing a live project taking up an internship, going, attending career fairs, etc. And these events, they add something to your resume. So like after graduating, when you're applying for jobs, so you have something to show the employer that, okay, I have done this and this during my time in Australia. These things, what you do, they add value to your resume. So don't miss out on them and grab the opportunity. So if you just go up to the student services at your university, I'm sure they'll be able to help you with getting an internship or securing a life project for your summers. My third tip is that do not have a generic resume. So what do I mean by do not have a generic resume? For most of the jobs which you will be applying for, the initial screening of all the resumes is done through a computer software. Where the computer software matches the keywords in the job description with the keywords in your resume. So if you have one generic resume which does not include the specific keywords for the job, your chances to getting an interview for that job are very, very slim. So make sure you edit your resume according to every job you're applying for and include all the important keywords. I won't be going into details on how your resume should be for the Australian job market because 
that's a separate topic and I will be doing a separate video on that. The one most important thing which you can be doing right now while watching this video to prepare better for getting a full-time job is hitting that like button. Smash it so that I can make more videos for you. Getting back to the topic now, my fourth tip for you is that look for backdoor options. Now, what is a backdoor option? Two most common sites in Australia to look for jobs are seek.com.au and LinkedIn. Most job posters, they post their jobs on one of these two sites or probably both. And jobs posted on these platforms attract hundreds if not thousands of applicants. So if you're just using these two platforms to apply for jobs online, then trust me, chances of you getting into an interview are very slim, unless you have a great past record and an amazing CV. So look for other options like job portals of different universities, networking events, career fairs, etc. Because the jobs posted on these platforms attract a much lower volume of applicants than jobs posted on Seek or LinkedIn. So basically you will be competing with less people and that will improve your chances of getting an interview for that particular job. And my fifth tip for you guys is networking. So networking is a very important part of a job search. Most people in Australia define a job through networking. Now what, what is networking? Networking is nothing but meeting and interacting with people. Universities organize networking events all year round, so make sure you attend those events and build a strong network for yourself. So these are basically my five tips for you, which will help you getting a full-time job in Australia. That's it for today and now how you can win that $100 gift card. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. So my Insta handle would be somewhere up on the screen right now. I'm at 360 subscribers at the moment I'm recording this video and I'll be choosing a random subscriber when I reach 500 subscribers and I will be announcing the winner in my next video. Make sure your subscriptions are public so that I can see that you have subscribed to my channel for your chance to win the $100 gift card. Thanks for watching guys and leave a comment below if you liked the video and let me know in the comments that what video you want me to make next.